Jay Gordon. So I'm gonna show you really quickly how we're gonna build a static web app. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just going to already have some code prepared. If you read the blog post, you'll see that we've already exported all of our static site. This is a Next.js uh, blog. Um, all we're gonna do is have it uh, deploy the static app contents from it. So first thing I'm gonna do, click create a resource. After I click create a resource, I'm gonna type static web apps preview. Create. The resource group, we'll just create a new one. React next Rico. Okay. React next Rico. This won't be the host name though. Uh, the host names are randomized. Uh, I'm just going to pick where the region is, the SKU, that's just free. We're giving it away for free right now. Now, uh, our source control is going to be GitHub, so we'll click sign in with GitHub. I'm going to be given an organization, which is my account, my repository, and in this case, it's called RicoInfo.js. I'll go to my branch, which is master. I'll click build. It'll ask me for the app location, which we're going to just leave a slash. We don't have an API here. And the artifacts, our static pages, are going to be in the out directory. Then we click review and create. We click create. And now our deployment, as you can see right here, has started. So we'll get the deployment details, but what's really going on right now is we've created a web hosting service and that web hosting service has created a workflow file for GitHub Actions. So let's click on the workflow file and we'll see that this is going to uh, check out the repository, build and deploy the application and then it's going to serve it to the Azure Static Web App Service. So what happens when we hit uh, start on that application. Well, it created a CI CD workflow file and that CI CD workflow file in turn is going to kick off a build. That build will eventually build and deploy our application. As you can see, it's gone through everything. It's building it in the browser uh, or I should say in the build server. And then what we'll see is the runner are built static pages and then eventually the static pages go to the post action, which is the deploy. So we've built the application, we've deployed it, and once it's completed, it'll close up the job. And once the job is completed, uh, we'll be able to go here, click on our URL. But as you can see, the deployment history is right in here. The workflow file is listed in here. Um, we can make modifications like configuration, as you can see in here, we could set a specific environment. Environments are managed over here. We can have production, we can have development. Staging environments are automatically created when a pull request is generated and promoted into production. So we can go ahead and configure that if we want. So let's go back to GitHub. Our CI and CD have both been completed. It was all done uh, for us. We didn't have to create any YAML. Let's go back to overview. Click URL, our new app is up. That's it. Uh, if you want any more information, check out a blog post. It's in this link. If you have any other questions, reach out to me on Twitter. Thanks.